something. To those of you in church, those of you at home, welcome to this celebration of the Feast of St. Philip and St. James. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At the beginning of this celebration, we recognize that we are sinners. We turn towards the Lord, seeking his love and mercy. We were sent to heal the contrite of heart. The Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We came to call all sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. The Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excessis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excessis Deo. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to you of the good. We praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are are seated at the right hand of God, have mercy on us. For you you alone are the Holy One, you you alone are the Lord, you you alone the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, Grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit it to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. The message goes out through all the earth. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. The message goes out through all the earth. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. 
the message goes out through all the earth.
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Death, Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Archbishop, and in his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. This morning we pray especially for Lucy Patwell and Aisha Adalto. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and we offer a special birthday blessings for Angeline, Angelina Ricci that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always faithful to you, and to the good of your people, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not with you. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that, contemplating you and your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless you, keep his Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.